here's what we got so far. Very first pictures of the little tri designed by Bernard Kohler. Um, this is hall number three. Hopefully trying to get it done so we can take it sailing next Wednesday. That is only, what, four days from now. Um, as you can see, it's not looking all that bad. Uh, still got some painting to do and I'm doing the rigging right now. The one major obvious problem that I got right now is my mast is too short by about a foot and a half. You can see the front of the sail right there is kind of leaning on the boat. Need to get that up off of there. So, with only four days away, and only basically Monday and Tuesday before I leave out on Wednesday, uh, I have to get another mast. And I'm hoping to do that Monday. I'm probably going to have to take time off from work to do it. To do a two and a half hour drive over to a place that I know that has the tubing. That's where I got this at. And, uh, <laughs> hope and pray that they have lengths that I need. If not, this is going to be very interesting and try to get this boat done before next Wednesday, before the big sailing trip. Other than that, everything else has went pretty much according to plan. Uh, paint job's not the best, sorry. I'm in a rush. <laughs> uh, it's messy right now because I got all kinds of stuff just running all over. If you notice the sail, they're unique. It is a split junk rig. Uh, popularized by uh, a guy, I can't remember who it is, somebody over in Europe, I'm thinking. Uh, basically a full batten lug sail with split in the middle. Uh, very balanced, uh, lightly loaded. Uh, I can get away with a lot less ropes and strings than a normal sail. Uh, easy to reef, I just drop a panel or two or even three panels if it really gets breezy. And you do that in a matter of in less than a minute. So it's pretty cool. Can't wait to get it out there and sailing. The uh, sail came out pretty nice. Considering that uh, this is the first time I ever sewn the sail. Got some creases in the mid panels. Yeah. If I ever do one of these sails again, I probably will. I'll probably do a better job laying out the templates, so we'll eliminate those creases. Other than that, I am pleased with how this boat is coming out. I just wish I wasn't so rushed to try to get it done. And uh, even if I don't make the floor to 120 for 2015, that's because coming uh, next weekend, uh, I will be in, this boat will be in the Texas 200 and sailing along for 200 plus miles. Anyway, signing off, you guys see the boat? Hopefully next time you see this video, you'll see it sailing. <laughs>